Hi everyone, November's question of the month is about standard acceptable sub-bases for land-safe, port-in-place rubber playgrounds and multi-purpose areas. When preparing a compacted aggregate gravel base, the gravel must be 3 quarters inch minus with a compaction level of 98%. With stacked 6x6 timbers or concrete as the border for the surface. If you decide to use concrete as the border, please note that we will need 4 weeks cure time until we can surface up to the concrete. One thing to remember when preparing a sub-base for rubber surfacing is that the rubber will follow the slope of the sub-base. Therefore, you must ensure that there is no crowning, low spots, or loose aggregate. We recommend using a string line during base construction to avoid these issues. Marathon is able to surface over existing asphalt, but it must be in good condition. Asphalt that is cracking or breaking apart cannot be surfaced. When compacted aggregate gravel or asphalt isn't available, rigid insulation or architectural foam voiding is acceptable. The rigid insulation should be installed flush with no movements or gaps. This sub-base option does require a border, same as the others. If you have a question about acceptable sub-bases for rubber surfacing or any other questions, please leave a comment down below.